All of the things that I wish I could tell you Every time when you pass and me by I fall in love There's something about you I wish you were mine well and having a really lovely day today. How are you? I hope you're well. Let me know down below in the comments. In today's video I'm going to be reacting to all of the brand new Lush bubble bars. Now I did a video recently with all my favourite Lush bubble bars and I only could do six because they didn't have very many on the website. However now they've suddenly released loads more which is really exciting so I'm going to go through them all, give you my opinions and I yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. I've actually not seen any of these. I've opened the website, but I've not clicked on the correct page because I don't want to ruin it for myself. Um, but yeah, I'm literally just going to go through the list on the website. So again, if I do miss any, I do apologise. But without further ado, I'm going to jump right in and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So the first one on the website is the Ladybird Bubble Bar. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you will know that I was obsessed with this bubble bar to the point that I bought about seven of them one year. Like, I loved it so, so much. I love the colour, I love the scent. Everything about this bubble bar was just unbelievable and I just honestly, if you haven't tried it, you do need to give this a go. I would recommend going into the shops when um, they open again and smelling it first because it might not be your cup of tea, but it's just so nice. It's just unbelievable. So yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend the Ladybird Bubble Bar. It is 5 .95, which is definitely more than it used to be. I think it used to be around 3 .95 or 4 25 or something. It seems to be, again, shock horror that the prices have gone up. But yeah, do give this one a go if you haven't already. It's so, so good. The next one I've just seen, I'm so excited about. This is the Mermaid Tail Bubble Bar. Like, how unbelievable is that? It looks so cute. I literally love that so much gonna buy 50 don't even care so again this one is 5.95 and i'm just looking at the ingredients and this one has grapefruit oil lemon myrtle oil ylang 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 oil so i'm going to imagine that this is going to smell very fruity really citrusy really fresh so yeah really really big fan of that kind of wish it smelled like I don't even know, I just would want something different. I'm bored of the lemon scents, but yeah. Let me know what you think it should smell like. I think it should smell kind of like Parma Violets or something. I just think that would be really, really yummy. But yeah, that one looks really cute. Love that, love the idea. Really, really fan. Good big English, what? <laughs> big fan, big fan. The next bubble bar is called Bubble Bubble Toil and Trouble, which looks so cute. Oh my God, it glows in the dark. What, what, no, what? Okay, I'm gonna get 50, I don't even care. Like, this is unreal. It glows in the dark, sorry. This one is 4 95 so a bit more affordable than the others. I just can't get over the fact it glows in the dark. Like, I'm shook, I can't. That's unreal. This one has lime and neroli in it, so it's gonna be really uplifting and really fresh, which is really nice. Um, I can't believe it glows in the dark. I still can't get over that, so, yeah, I'm literally gonna buy 10 of them. I honestly, that's unreal so cool so the next one is sleepy now this is obviously going to smell like twilight so i'm going to buy about seven of them not going to lie i love the design not sure what color the water is going to be though like could go brown not sure um however this one again is 5.95 so a standard price for bubble bars it seems at the moment um but yeah love that gonna get 10 fantastic the next one is one which i definitely am gonna buy this is so cute this is the peach crumble bubble rune which means it's going to be so moisturizing you would not believe it it's six pound fifty though which is quite expensive however this one is grapefruit divana oil and elemi elemi oil which apparently has a sharp aroma whatever that means um it's basically by reading it it's going to be fresh it's going to probably smell like the peach bath bomb which i thoroughly enjoyed i used it the other day on my instagram so if you don't follow me on there go and follow me on instagram i do loads of lush demos over there but i also do loads of stories so if you guys aren't following me on instagram please do it's linked in the description um but yeah that one's really really cute definitely going to give that one a go 100 percent there's always a new product that i can't pronounce so this one is called excavation bubble bar I believe it's 4 95 I'm not really sure what it's supposed to look like oh it's a dinosaur this one has lemon oil and lime oil so again really fresh and really citrusy I feel like they always use lemon and lime oils and things and it's just getting really boring like I want something else but yeah that one looks really cute it's a nice idea um it says it's woody and citrusy so 
I don't know. Don't know if I'm gonna like that one. I'm not gonna lie to you. The next one we have Figs in Honey, which looks so nice. The water goes a stunning purple violet colour. It's $6.95 again, so quite expensive in my opinion. Um, and this one has, let's have a look. So this one basically has all of the ingredients that I can't pronounce. So Mira Resnoid, whatever that is. Apparently it's a very grounding, warm scent. It's soothing. Um, I imagine this is just going to smell spicy and like garden, which I'm not going to enjoy. So I'm probably not going to buy that one. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to go into the shop and smell this one once the shop's open again, just because it might smell really nice. But from the description, I'm probably not going to enjoy it. So yeah, I'm not sure. Next up, we have the Nana Bubble Bar, which looks very similar to the Yognog Bubble Bar. I feel like they're um, reusing some designs, not going to lie to you. Um, however, this one again will smell like the Nana shower gel so like let the good times roll so it's gonna smell amazing i'm not gonna lie to you it's 5.95 and i'm very excited about it it's gonna smell delicious so absolutely love that the next one again i can't really pronounce it looks like it says aka name but it's gonna be called like akan akanim akan i don't even know what it's supposed to be it looks like some weird guy with his tongue sticking out i'm not really sure what that's meant to be i'm not gonna lie to you like what is that <laughs> this one is 4.95 and shock it has lime and lemon oil in it which again i'm just bored of the same fragrances let me know if you're the same i just want something a bit different you know like i just it's just boring next up is the lucky cat bubble bar which if you guys know i don't like the bath bomb it stains my bath so i'm not a massive fan however this one looks less pigmented so i don't think it's going to stain your bath hopefully um it's 4.95 and again it's going to smell exactly like the bath bomb so jasmine and neroli and that kind of smells so i'm excited for that one as long as it doesn't stain my bath then we are good to go next up we have return to the emerald city love the name love that this one again is a bubble rune it's five pound 95 and this one is rose scented so something really different i love that like i thought it would smell like the grass bubble rune or the green bubble rune whatever it was called um which came out a few years ago and it was unbelievable i loved it um but yeah i'm not too sure if that one's going to be really strong in rose but i'm definitely going to have to give it a smell when the shop's open because if it smells like rose jam I'm gonna be done and I'm gonna buy seven of them so love that the next one is called party popper and this one is 3 dollars so a bit more affordable this one is full of butcher oil divana oil petty grain oil it's gonna smell really fruity I think it looks like it's gonna smell fruity anyway I love the look of it the only issue I have with bubble bars that look like this is that it makes the water go a very weird yellow and I'm just not into that so if you know what I mean um I just don't really like that so yeah I don't know it might smell amazing though so we'll definitely give that one a try the next item is something which I think is going to be very popular and that is the big comforter bubble bar this is 20 pounds 20 pounds like what essentially this is a comforter bubble bar but big so if you like the comforter bubble bar it's definitely one to go for um i don't know how big this is in terms of the weight of it so i don't know whether it actually works out cheaper to buy the bigger one or not so that's something quite interesting that i might have to look into um but yeah that's really cool it's a good idea um definitely something that they should have done a long time ago for sure so love that the next one is stargazer now this one is 4.95 this one is grapefruit and bergamot so it's going to smell fruit what a surprise um but again the water looks really pretty it kind of goes a really lovely maroon pink color um something again quite different i'm not too sure what it will smell like it says it's zingy citrus and almond so i'm not too sure what that's going to smell like but definitely something to give that a try i'm absolutely going to buy that one at 100 i feel like what i just said made no sense then I'm gonna buy it is what I'm saying. <laughs> then we have the golden pear. Now this is a product that's been released before in terms of a soap. I have one in my drawer um, but this one is a bubble rune so it's basically a warm spicy but fruity scent which I do really like. It's definitely more of a winter scent in my opinion but it is something really different. It's not gonna smell like lemons which is good in my book um, but yeah really love the look of it. Really cute and definitely something different so I love that. Okay I've just seen the next one and it looks unbelievable the next one is called crayon it's a bubble stick it's 3.95 and it will draw on your bath fair play 
great idea love that i think for children this is going to be a great idea i think these are going to be so popular this one is grapefruit and bergamot so it's going to be really fruity so not best pleased about the smell but the idea of that is just very very clever it's pink but i think you could come out with other colors i think that would be very very good um but yeah great idea 10 out of 10 love it the next one is a bit weird i'm not gonna lie it's called goldfinger it looks a bit dodge like i don't mm, not a fan of the design i'm not gonna lie to you however it's super sparkly it's 3.95 and shock it's orange and lemon scented so it's gonna smell fruity um but yeah the i mm, no i'm not a fan of that it looks dodgy as hell i'm just not into that um but the next one is called Abracadabra and this one basically looks like a magic wand which is really cute. It's got little stars in it so you're going to get some stars in your bath. It's 3 95 and it smells like bergamot. So lemon again what is it with these lemon smells I cannot go over it. I wish this smelled like the magic wand soap because that smelled amazing so Lush, you need to just like refresh your ideas, you know, come to me, I've got this. Next up we have a reusable bubble bar. This is the, uh, how am I going to pronounce that? Erlen Mayer flask? I'm, I've butchered that, haven't I? It's a flask. It's a science flask, okay? This one smells like black currant, so probably very similar to the comforter. I love the idea that it's reusable. I think reusable bubble bars are definitely worth their money if you're, um, definitely into your bubble baths i think these will last you a long long time um but yeah i love that i just can't pronounce the name another reusable bubble bar this is the sugar rush which looks like a coca-cola bottle i love that it's eight pound fifty and it smells like cinnamon and lime and neroli so it's gonna be really warming i kind of wish they made it smell like coca-cola i think that would have been a really good idea um however i love that that it smells like spicy cinnamon and lime i think that's just really nice and something different finally so Good job Lush, love that one. The next reusable bubble bar is called Relax Take a Bath. This is £8.50 again and it's lemon and lavender which is really nice. The bath actually goes green which is really interesting considering it doesn't look green whatsoever uh, on the website. But yeah I love that, it's definitely going to be good for achy muscles and if you have a nice bath before bed I think this is going to be a really nice one. So yeah definitely a thumbs up from me, I love that it's different. We have finally got a different fragrance, hallelujah love that the next item is called a perfume bubble bottle which is really really interesting it's 10 pounds though so i'm imagining it's reusable because if it's not that is very expensive this one is called love and love is ylang ylang rose and bergamot i believe it's going to smell like the love perfume which came out quite a long time ago let me know if it does if you guys try this one because i never smelt that perfume so yeah let me know down below if you have tried it um but they also released a dirty version which is also um a perfume bubble bottle that's really hard to say bubble bottle um, this one is nine pounds and this one smells like spearmint so it does smell like the dirty fragrance so i imagine the other one will smell like the love fragrance but these are really cool really different um and yeah i just think they're very very exciting another perfume bubble bottle that lush released is the keep it fluffy bubble bottle which is also nine pounds this one is lemongrass jasmine ylang ylang and vanilla which i think will smell really really good i love all those ingredients i've never smelt them together and unless it's an item that I can't think of that has all those scents in. Let me know down below if you guys know of any. Um, but yeah, I really want to give that one a go. That one looks like something definitely up my street. So I'm going to get that one 100%. Another reusable bubble bottle is the Big Bottle of Calm. This one has lavender and chamomile in it. So it's going to be really soothing, really relaxing, great before bed, especially if you have trouble sleeping, which a lot of people probably do at the moment. It's definitely a nice one to go for. And yeah, I just really, really like the look of those. I think they're really different and really interesting. Um, um, and yeah, I don't know, just something different. So I'm definitely going to get a couple of those at 100%. And last but definitely not least is the Bathos Bubble Bar. I feel like this has been released before. Let me know down below if you agree with me. I feel like 
I really recognise the name of it, I don't know. It's $3.95 and it has a rose, violet, jasmine and ylang ylang fragrance. It's going to be really floral, um, which is nice, it's nice to have a change. The water goes purple, which I'm all about. Um, but yeah, I've definitely recognised that name, I feel like I've heard that before. So... Yeah, I'm not too sure, but I really love the idea of that, so I'm definitely going to give that one a go too. So those are all of the new bubble bars that Lush have released. Let me know down below which you guys like the sound of. I would absolutely love to know, and I will be doing some demos of these over on my Instagram when I get some, so don't forget to follow me on there. It's just my name, but if not, I will link it in the description. Also, don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It makes me super happy, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye, guys.